I'm a Zebra Herd, welcome to Zebra's Arcade, a series where we try a new game every episode. Today, we're trying Ultimate Sackboy, a brand new mobile Little Big Planet themed game. Of course, about Sackboy running through all these platforms, sort of similar to Subway Surfers from what I can tell. So with that being said, let's get started with Ultimate Sackboy. Okay, we're jumping in here. Welcome to Ultimate Sackboy. What do you want? Uh, sign up? I guess we want to sign up. You're the new competitor? Yep. Have you got what it takes to become the ultimate sack boy? Okay, okay, I can see you're keen. Let's give you a trial. All right, be my score before time runs out, then maybe I'll consider coaching you. 6,225 is the score to beat, so let's go for it. Of course, you guys know I'm a very big Little Big Planet fan, so just seeing these kind of games is always really cool. I know quite a few years ago there was another mobile Little Big Planet themed game called Run Sack Boy Run that I played a ton of. Uh, collect bubbles to increase your score. Reach the first place before time runs out. But this is very similar to, like I said, mobile games like Subway Surfers, where we're supposed to jump around and move in sort of this like three lane platform and just get a bunch of stuff done. It was also Crash Bandicoot something. I forget what it's called, but there's a mobile game that was like that too. Green bubbles are okay, but blue, blue bubbles will earn you more points. Just not as much as purple and gold. Gosh, so there's different colors, which will give us different things, but with 14 seconds remaining, we wanna jump and then swipe to get these golden ones. So let's, I guess, move over here. Got it, we gotta watch out for these trains. And then we'll try going under this thing, just like that. And then I guess we can jump on the swing. That is so cool. And there we go, time's up. But I think we did a pretty good job. Sag boys dancing, and we beat the coach. I guess that means we're good. Champion's back, you beat me, I'm surprised. All right. So what do we get inside of this cute little bag? I'm gonna tap to open it and we got, uh, cards? Runner shorts, oh, so these are like different pieces of gear. We get 50 coins, three gems, uh, runner sweatband and runner vest. But I don't think I fully unlocked them or maybe I leveled them up, oh, okay. Well done, awesome. So of course, this is a mobile game, so there's gonna be a lot of elements like this, but we have power levels unlocked. We can win bags, unlock new items, increase power level, and better bubble values and scores. Interesting. So we'll just go back to it. I mean, obviously this is one of those kind of games where you're gonna have to grind a bunch. Increase your power level by collecting and upgrading clothing items. This will increase your bubble's value, allowing you to reach high scores faster. Okay. And what do we have here? This is where we can customize our sack point. Want to look the part? Let's equip this new costume. Gotcha. So I'll put this one on, tier one, the runner. Looking good. Let's keep running to earn more costumes. Will do. So we'll just get back to our run. I mean, so far it feels pretty good at control as well. Game runs fluently, so that's good. Or fluidly. There we go. What is that? Oh, okay, don't go in front of those. Good to know, good to know. So that's a new type of obstacle popping up in front of us. And what about these enemies? Can we maybe, oh, can slide into them to knock them out. Keep running until time is up. You're in first place. Keep running until time is up. Okay, so we wanna jump over this one? Oh, we can jump on top of them as well, okay. So that's good to know. And it's interesting when Sackboy jumps, he has a voice now. Oh look, a shield. Use it to smash into obstacles and earn extra points. So this one right here, we can hit this and then smash everything. Ooh, that's so cool, even the trains too, so we can roll all over the place for that. That was great, and time's up with that one. All right, very cool. So we're gonna take a first place finish for this one. We we'll get ourselves another winner's bag. Amazing, you're doing great. So what do we get inside of this one? We can tap to unlock it in just a moment. Afraid that we get our training progress complete? Way to go. Let's unlock the new bag for some cool items. So let's start unlocking this one. You can wait or use gems to open bags. This one's on me. All right, I'm opening up this bag and it has a bunch more stuff in it. We've got the runner dance, level three. I guess it might be like a victory dance. 20 coins, runner shoes, runner stars, and gems. All right, let's probably equip some of that stuff if we can. We get to another level up here. Power's level 24 now. Training complete, great job. You've unlocked the marathon. What is the marathon? Welcome to the marathon. Let's claim your first mission. Enter the marathon. Ooh. So we get rewards for completing different levels in the marathon. Is this like the season? Yeah, I think it is. 
Complete daily missions to progress in the marathon and unlock rewards. Claim your first reward. So we got ourselves a little sack boy thing there. That was uh, at least another power level increase. And our season pass, where we can complete missions, reach checkpoints, unlock rewards, and get the season pass to unlock access to exclusive content. If we were to do a full series, maybe I would check that out. We'll have to wait and see though. For now, we're just gonna, you know, play it normally. Purchasing the season pass will give you access to even more rewards. I, I know the idea, but um, would like to take a pass for now. Let's miss out. <laughs> That's one way to say it. Um, and is there anything I, I can equip this? I, I don't know if I can level them up. Doesn't seem like it. So, oh yeah, let's equip our new uh, runner dance. Looking good. And my name, oh, we haven't put this. Let's get you registered for the ultimate Sackboy competition. Well, of course you guys know what my name is. There we go. Good luck, Zebra. Let the competition begin. Pedal to the metal. Whoa, pedal to the metal current standings. Interesting. So we're just gonna have to try to keep up with some of our competitors here. Let's see how it goes. So we're not racing these players in real time. It's more so we're racing their scores in certain ways. Let's see, Ooh, what is that? There's a little item here that is going to be a tomato. So I guess there's maybe different vegetables to collect or something. <laughs> okay, well that's not what I wanted. Finish the first race to claim first place rewards. Uh, I guess I can continue this time. So I can't jump that high is the thing. <laughs> I thought I could maybe jump up to that. I can't, so I gotta be careful about platforms like that. Um, but in the meantime, we can get up here, start collecting these. Gotta be careful of these little things because they will move around. But I'm gonna hang a bit. We might make a couple of mistakes at first, but we'll, we'll figure it out and get better as time goes on. But with only a few seconds remaining, I just need to keep going, get a bunch more green ones. It's interesting that there's a timer to it. I feel like with a lot of these games, you're just supposed to go on for as long as possible until you get knocked out. But this one's a little bit different. Either way, we get first place in a winner's bag. Amazing, you're doing great. All right, so, got some more points there and some vegetables for some reason, but, uh, hmm, do we get to choose some of these costumes to be found? Finish in first, second, or third to earn trophies and rewards. So this time we get coins. So the more we grind, the more we'll be able to get excellent costumes like those. That'll be great. Of course, now is sort of the big appeal to Little Big Pond is you play through the story mode, you unlock the cool costumes and different pieces to make your own levels with. So obviously there's not too much of a creation aspect to this game, but it's still pretty fun just in the concept of running through, getting cool um, costumes for Sackboy and stuff. And of course, we've played quite a lot of Little Big Pond games. I've not yet played um, Sackboy's Big Adventure, which is a game that launched a few years ago on the PlayStation 5. It's been on my to-do list though, for sure. I definitely wanna get to playing that game soon. We have 15 seconds left in this level. Ooh, keep running until the time is up. We can slide around here. Awesome. It's so weird to hear Sackboy with a voice. Like when we jump around and stuff, he usually doesn't make too many noises. It either be Sackboy, Sackgirl or anything. And there we go. We get a bunch of points there. So that's another first place finish for us. We're doing this little runner dance. All right. So we're getting to the flow of this game already. We can sort of see the idea with it. So at this point, we just keep enjoying it. So with this second bag, we can start unlocking it. But soon enough, I don't think we can open them all. If that makes sense. Uh, I'm sure we'll find out. But right now we do get another level up for some of this gear. So I'm guessing we're spending either coins or gems to unlock level ups. You have copies of the same items, so now you can upgrade them. If you do that, yeah, I think we gotta go back into there. Here you can equip individual items. Let's upgrade one. So we can choose to run our sweatband and upgrade it for 50 coins, there it is. So that's gonna get to level four, which gives us extra experience, I guess. I'm not really sure what more it does beyond that, but there's that done. And upgrade items, increase power level, better bubble values and scores. So it'll make it easier for us to get, um, I guess it's like first place more often. Upgrade rewards, increase power level, increase your power level by collecting and upgrading clothing items. This will increase your bubble's value, allowing you to reach high scores faster. Gotcha, so the better gear, the better rewards. Makes sense. So with that done, I think we could do the same thing. If we have the coins, we should be able to level up our runner vest, just like that. With some extra experience coming in, we get up to level 33 for our current power. 
And what about the runner dance? Oh, can that be leveled up too? Interesting. Oh, we have the runner star. So I guess it's sort of the trail of stuff happening behind us. Let's definitely equip that. And we can't level it up just yet, but I thought there was something more. Oh, right here, runner shorts. Uh, upgrade right there. So that gives us plus four experience, we're at 37 in total. So what happens if I were to unequip this? Would it lower my level? It doesn't seem like it changes anything. Interesting. So just leveling things up just affects our character as a whole. Like we, did, we didn't have this fade skin in, so if we equip this and then uh, upgrade it, there we go. 22 out of four. So does that mean we have like a way more level ups that we can give this thing if we have the coins for it? I guess so. Interesting. Uh, but just, you know, continuing to do that gets us a higher and higher power, which means hopefully we can earn more coins faster. So I'm missing the coins to get any more upgrades. So is there anything more we could do? We could get runner shoes equipped. Cool. I think we're good to go then. All right then. So let's start running. Pedal to the metal again. This time we have a lot more people to race. And we'll start with these bubbles over here. So I think at this point we're pretty well in the groove of the gameplay. I do like the aesthetic of it. It's definitely inspired by, you know, the different environments. I'm oh, gonna be careful, I'm sorry. The different environments in the Little Big Planet games. Okay, able to dodge that one. And I think I wanna go here. And it's really cool to see, you know, PlayStation mascots getting their own little side games like this again. I hope that this is a trend that can continue. Whoa, got it, got it. With only a few more seconds left, what more can we do? Ah, not too much, not too much. So I don't think we get first this time. Yeah, just a second place finish, but very close to first. You didn't win this time, but here's your reward. We still get stuff out of it, so not too big of a deal. Awesome, so you collected all the fruits. Claim your, your five a day reward. So I guess if we get five fruits. Oh, were they fruits? I thought, this is a tomato. Is a tomato a fruit? I thought it was a vegetable. The rest of the, the screen's pretty small, so it's hard for me to make up the specific details at times when we're moving around. Uh, we get well done, we get 50 points there. We get a bottom half of, a, I think, a banana costume? Well done, come back each day to claim even more rewards. All right, well, Let's open some of these bags, if we can. This one's free to open, so maybe we can get something out of it. We get some green ones this time. We get buttons and bucket hat. Oh, that looks cool. Um, the rock girl vest, coins, and gems. Awesome, so sort of getting a little bit of a mixed uh, catalog of costumes now. And if we unlock this one, I would not like to be reminded. So you can change the notification. I oh, know, thank you. Oh, so I have to wait an hour before I could open it, okay. Well, I don't have that kind of time, so instead of doing that, we'll just run around a little bit more. Hmm. Okay, we'll actually get over here instead of jumping over that. I don't know if it's better to get bubbles or fight enemies. I don't think fighting the enemies might actually not give me any points, so we'll have to wait and see. But I can, oh, get this right here, that's perfect. So this will give me some extra little magnetization, we can get another one right there too. So what if I, boom, beat you up? I couldn't really see if that gave me extra points or not, but we just gotta hope. I definitely like the magnet. And then I can grab that. Okay, really, really good with one second remaining. We got a good score that time, but I don't think enough to get first place, was it? No, it was, it was. All right, actually, yeah, we went far and above the second and third place competitors and got a bunch of trophies. All right. We're definitely getting the hang of it. The more we play, the better we're doing. We're halfway through tier one, it seems. Uh, you need to get three more medals, or to get three medals in a row to unlock the Daily Duel. But I'll unlock it for you this time. Daily Duel. The Daily Duel is all about costumes. Beat the opponent to win an item of the costume displayed. Huh, that's really neat. So there's this panda costume here. If we beat them, we'll get a piece of that panda costume. But to do that, we've got to download something, I guess. This is neat. Whenever it loads, we'll try it out. Knitted Night Trials, current standings, it was just me and this panda. I 
think I wanna stay up here, and then swipe down here, start picking up the blue one. So we need to be a score of 13,700. Well, that wasn't good. Uh, so maybe I can swipe down when I jump? Is that a thing? Oh, I can? Oh, uh, no, I'm not doing so good. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, it's all right, we're, we're, we're learning still. It's a little bit different every time, but I can, whoa, do some crazy jumps there. That was awesome. Get this shield, and then we can start hitting obstacles, and that'll give us extra points. Oh, I missed the other shield, though. That would've been good. Okay, when the screen zooms out, that means it's gonna end. Uh, keep running until the time is up, I would love to. So, when the timer starts is when we've already beaten their score. All right, if that counts, I'll take it. Excellent, so we beat the panda with 18,630 points. We get our first place finish with a daily heal bag. Amazing, you're doing great. I like the music so far too. Sort of this remix of the, uh, one of the main Little Big Planet themes. Always good to hear. And, well done. Return tomorrow to claim your costume item and face a different opponent. Awesome, so I guess we don't get to see the item that we'll get to claim until tomorrow, but uh, we're good to hop back in. And at this point, it seems like we've claimed and done most of our daily things, so it would just be about playing and having fun at this point, so yeah, let's go for it. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one so far. I know that mobile games like this get a pretty mixed reception by most people, and I totally understand why, but I, I'm also just personally such a big fan of the Little Big Planet series that just any kind of game in the franchise is always so good to see. To me, at least, that, you know, I'm excited to see, you know, what this might turn into if more people may start playing this game. Maybe that means we'll get more games like uh, Sackboy and Big Adventure soon. And like I said, I definitely want to play that game soon, too. It's just, it's just been a lot of stuff going on. A lot of different games coming out that I just haven't played the time to get to it, but there we go. I'm gonna jump all the way up the first, right? There it is with 20,000 points. All right, so with that done, what else do we got going on here? We can just keep running, I think, because we can't open any of those bags. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we've sort of gotten to the main idea of the gameplay at this point. I don't think it really mixes up too much. It'd be cool if there were different environments to run around in or something. Maybe just, you know, as you get farther, it gets harder in that way, and maybe that's the case. Really, the only way to find out is to keep running, right? So, let's jump down like that, and I did it a little too soon. So what happens now? If I just leave it and I don't pay the 20 gems, what happens to just make me restart? I think so, but I do lose some trophies up there. Gotcha. Well, I don't mind trying again. Let's put our pedal to the metal again. And we'll start just over here. So I gotta be really careful about my jumps. Yeah, I used to play a ton of Run Sackboy Run when that game first came out. Oh, come on, I was trying to, okay. I'm not doing so well with this, but we'll just skip this. And I did wanna look. Is this, oh no, this is the, uh, the current season. That was loud. Okay, so we do get some extra stuff here. Extra progress for our season, I suppose. So, with that, we are leveling up more and more. I don't think we'll actually get to any of the rewards that are free with that. Oh no, I think the stuff on the left is the free reward. So we get some free gems, cool, and some free coins. Obviously, if we do do a full series on this game, we'll treat it just like we do uh, something like Fall Guys, where we'll purchase the, the season, um, what's it called, a uh, battle pass, and try to get as far as we can, but right now, we're just focused on this one video for today. If we wanna do any more after that, we'll, we'll decide when the time comes. Okay, this time, I'm not gonna be silly. We're just gonna run straight through, get the points we need to win. And for this one, we need to beat 12,000 points. So, definitely doable. We swipe over right there, and then pick up this magnet. Gotta avoid the train. I can go over here, get those blue ones too. 15 seconds remaining, so we already beat the time, right? No, 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 we didn't. So the timer just is the same every time. It's, it's not that the timer only starts like, uh, Okay. The timer doesn't just start when we reach the specific score. There's always a limited time. So there we go. We got quite a lot. So it looks like after we get first, there's certain goals we can reach to earn extra trophies. But with our higher power, it makes sense that we're winning a little bit more often. All right, so more trophies going to our total. I would like to get from tier one to tier two in today's video. For that, we just gotta keep racing. 
So let's see what we got for this one. With each one, the competition steps up higher and higher. Okay, didn't have too many bubbles at first, but the layout seems pretty much the same. I mean, obviously it's sort of lightly randomized, but it's mostly the same obstacles and environment that we've raced through so far. Well, you know what? I do want to stay up here because I know I'm not destroying anything like that, but I'm at least earning up some of those purple points, which is pretty important. So we can get this shield, and then I can smash into this stuff a lot easier, but with only a few seconds remaining. There we go, come on. That wasn't so bad. We get first place again. Now we're picking up the pace, right? Gonna bring that all the way back up to the top. Oh no, slots are full. So I gotta lose this bag. And that's just where, you know, this very much feels like a mobile game. I can't open any of these bags because they're all on timers, like this one. Um, but I'm earning new bags that I can't open because I'm out of slots, which there's a lot of little arbitrary things. You know, this is how mobile games are nowadays, right? Okay. It was Crash on the Run that we played a few years ago, or, or like a year and a half, two years ago. I think that service just ended for that one, unfortunately. We only played an episode or two of that too, and it was, oh no, very similar um, in the way that it was like a uh, Subway Surfer style mobile game. And these can be a lot of fun in terms of their gameplay. I think it's just in terms of how the games are designed that could be a little bit difficult to turn it into a series, if that makes sense. Okay, that was weird. I, I don't think my swipe went through at the time that I swiped. We're struggling a little bit, but it's okay. If we lose some trophies, we'll just get them back. So we only lose five for losing a round. Go. And we'll jump across this. Got it. Just trying to be 18,000 points though. The scores are getting higher and higher. Oh man, that one was a little scary. Definitely wanna get up here so we can get this stuff. And with this, 15 seconds remaining. Come on, Sackboy, run. Oh yeah, we're supposed to destroy all this stuff for easy extra points. And then jump up there. There we go, get some extra blue ones. That was pretty good, actually. Will it be enough though? We just barely beat them the last moment there. Oh man, so that's a first place finish for us. That'll help out a bunch. We'll just skip this step just so that we can keep moving. We'll lose the bag, what can I do about it? And, oh, we're so close. If we can win one or two more races, we'll at least get the tier two. Here we go, here we go. Actually, I think I wanna stay up here. Yeah, 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 so we can do this. Once again, we gotta get like 19,000 points this time. So what I think I wanna do here, yeah, it's better to go through the center and then swipe to the right. Smash everything. Don't mind if I do. There you go. That was pretty nice. 15 seconds remaining. Cool. get another thing. Awesome. Definitely earning up a lot of points by smashing this stuff. Ooh, a few more seconds though. Will we have enough time? Ah, we won't. We'll only get a silver. Darn. Man, I was trying my best here. But they're starting to get more of a higher power than we are. But as long as we can get top three, we're getting enough to um climb up in, in trophies. A little bit of a lower score this time, just under 18,000. And go over here, earning up these. I definitely want to get this. Ready? Gonna grab this one. Oh, the, the gravity thing there, not gravity, magnetization. <laughs> the magnet is uh, pretty useful. I'll we'll just swipe to the side just like that. We still have 20 more points to get here if we wanna be able to get to first place. Sometimes it just feels like there's not enough points to actually do it, but I'm trying. No, I fell the spikes right at the end. I think another second place finish. I mean, that's where having a higher power really pays off. All right, well. It's a little bit slower going. But we are still almost getting there. We need 12 more trophies. All right, this is the one. And I really don't know what happens once we get to a higher tier. Oh, there we go, that was pretty good. Do we end up, uh... Okay, let's get this right here. Got it, got it. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Do we get to see different levels, or is it just gonna be more unlockables? Not quite sure, but with 15 seconds remaining, I just wanna get over here. Ooh, that was definitely good. 
We're in third place now, so guaranteed we'll be getting some kind of trophy. Oh, we're in first now, excellent. And we can really push that score. There it is. <laughs> Sorry, Zach, but I sent you right to a platform afterwards, but. All right, first place finish there is great. We get 36 trophies. And look at that, it's all finished up over here. We're climbing up a bit more. Whoa, we're getting a ton of stuff. Oh my gosh. New tier lot, tier two. So what did we get for that? Another bag, some more gear, all the way up here. It looks like there's maybe more costumes to find, but plenty of stuff to level up too. So that's really cool with a lot of uh, runner shorts. We got a hoodie. Oh, am I choosing between the two? I guess so. Huh. Well, our power's at the 63 now. We can open up a little bag here and get um, a bucket hat again, runner shoes, coins, and the tracksuit bottoms. Excellent. And there's another bag. Cool. This one has a runner sweatband, coins, and the hair, hairband ponytail up there too. And another bag. Okay, we're getting a lot of stuff. Shorts, the runner dance, coins, fade skin, gems, and sack girl eyes. All right, so we're really able to customize our character more and more with all these. And there's another thing? There's like so much stuff we're getting right now. Wow, so we're jumping up the power 67. Uh, choose my reward. I want to improve the runner dance a bit more, I think. This song is going crazy. Let's upgrade the hoodie again, I guess? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing exactly. It just keeps going and going. I was not expecting this much stuff, so we got the bucket hat, runner vest, coins, and shorts. <laughs> Another one. Wow. Coins, shorts, tracksuit bottoms are new, I think. And another bag. 154 coins, buttons, sacro eyes, runner swept band, runner dance. We're just getting a lot of new, or the same stuff over and over again, but you get some hair paint. Huh. Okay, well, now we're up to power 68. And I think that's everything for now. We can keep grinding to get from tier two to tier three eventually, but that's really if we want to play more. That was our fun little look at Ultimate Sackboy, the brand new Little Big Planet game. Um, well, technically, but also technically not. It's a, it's a new game from the Little Big Planet franchise. Definitely let me know if you'd like to see a full series on this game. But for right now, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.